Star Jones, she's had one of the most interesting careers in Hollywood, from Court TV to The View. Star's never been shy about sharing her truth. That's right, and now Star's got an incredibly important message, and it's to share with women this month. She joins us at the table now, and we're so excited, not at the table, but at the chairs here with oh, yeah. us. Yeah, move, move with the chairs. <laughs> You look good in red, like like the ladies here. Today is National Go Red Day. It's mm -hmm. for um, in honor of heart health and the American Heart Association. This is the 15th year of the National Go Red movement for women. Go Red for women to emphasize heart disease, cardiovascular disease, in women across America. And so, as national volunteer for the American Heart Association since 2011, I'm here to spread that message again. I'm sorry, you say that with a smile. But you weren't necessarily smiling the other day when I went on your Instagram. Uh, and uh, let's take a look Instagram. at this post right here. <laughs> what are you saying there, Star? I love my husband. I love my husband. I love my <laughs> husband. I love my husband. What the hell am I doing in this crazy place? <laughs> this is my very first full winter in Chicago. Married this past year. Oh, you've been surviving. I'm, I'm surviving. <laughs> um, I'm surviving, actually. One day um, at a time. Uh, but you know what? I've fully embraced my Chicago. You know, this year, not only is it the 15th anniversary of the National Go Red Movement, it's the 15th anniversary of Go Red here in Chicago. I am completely jumped in feet first for um, Go Red and the American Heart Association here. We're doing a month-long promotion. Um, at the East Bank Club, let's get our heart health, phys physical fitness in. And then, of course, you know, I partnered with CVS this year for their Minute Clinic promotion. Every single yeah. Thursday in uh, February, we are going to be emphasizing um, heart health. And so and I, I'm putting it all together. Yeah. Yeah. What's so great about, I think, you being an advocate for this is because you have lived it. Oh, you yeah. have had to overcome your own issues. Can you share with us, and that kind of explains to the audience why you're so passionate, but just what your story. You know, people always say they're looking for purpose. Well, you really don't know your purpose until you're walking in it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I walk in my purpose because in 2010, I was actually diagnosed with heart disease. And now, mind you, this is after I had done all the stuff right. I'd lost the weight. I don't know, you and I are just meeting. I yeah. used to weigh 300 pounds, right. okay? There's some before and after pictures. Yeah. Um, and it was because I remember you from the video. I was going to uh -huh. say, you act like we didn't all watch you on national yeah. TV. Yeah. Yeah. You to tell people who you are. You know what? No, excuse me. My late mother would always say, introduce yourself. Do not presume like folk that. know who the heck you are. Yeah. I like that. No, I'm just intimidated because mm. you're from The View, which oh, is way bigger than us here. Yeah. Honey, let me be very clear. In your longest memory, you'll never worry about being intimidated by that. You are doing a fantastic job. Thank so you. you. Bravo. There Bravo you with you. your red-wearing selves, okay? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I have to just tell you, in 2010, I was not feeling myself. I was really fatigued, and I would get these intense heart palpitations, wow. and I listened to my body, which you all were talking about in the previous segment. Long story short, they diagnosed me with heart disease. I had open heart surgery, the real kind where they crack your chest, take your heart wow. out of your body. Um, they stopped my heart and the machines kept me alive for 22 minutes while they made the repairs. And uh, you are looking at not just a heart disease survivor, but a heart disease thriver because I took control of my own destiny with the help of the AHA's science, brilliant doctors, um, made the changes in my life that are necessary. How you do you feel me. like, okay. I was going to say, since really making those changes and focusing on your health, how, how have things changed for you professionally and personally? Well, personally, the first thing you is, is you, you really start to appreciate life. And I just want other women out there to understand. Um, it's, there's no, no real secret to this. Eat less, move more, don't smoke. If you do those three things, that really starts and jumpstarts your healthy lifestyle. You got me involved last year, and it was just your passion that attracted me to it. But then when you really break down what's happening in our community, yes. that even more so, one third of white and Latina women and almost half, mm -hmm. half of African American women deal with cardiovascular disease. We actually have some new numbers um, um, here in 2019. It is estimated that literally 50% of the United States has some form of cardiovascular disease. Wow. Um, and the complications from cardiovascular 
cardiovascular disease. So really what you have to do is know your numbers. Know your cholesterol number, know your blood pressure, know your BMI, know your good cholesterol. You can go down to the Minute Clinics on any Thursday in the month of February. Have them take the circumference of your waist. Mm. BMI can be complicated. Get the circumference of your waist and then look at what the guidelines are on where you should be. You were talking about making food changes. Well, the, the American Heart Association is an advocate for a Mediterranean style lifestyle of eating, which is more protein and green based. And that's just really for good health. It's for heart health. What, what do they say on the airplane? Put your own mask on before you try to help somebody else. So as women, and not to exclude you, Jordan, but women, we take care of everybody else before we take care of ourselves. So please be mindful of your health. Today is that day. Put your red on, take your butts down, and get your numbers checked. Yeah, and do it, because Star Jones said so. Look, there's, yeah. guests, there's guests here at the gym, and there's Star Jones as a guest. Let's give a round of applause for coming in. We love having you. Absolutely Anytime. love having Thank you, you in very much. So, and you breaking it down here, you brand new. <laughs> welcome. That's Thank baby you. sis right there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Young brother is he's my love. And yeah. You know Star, you're the best. We love having yeah. you. For more information, everybody, it's important. Make sure you log on to goredforwomen.org and get involved. It's a very serious thing. Uh, be knowledgeable. Be proactive. Plus, CVS has free screenings for blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, and BMI every Thursday this month of February. CVS.com is where you can find the nearest location.